joined by Cassidy Hubbard, who's the sideline reporter in Dallas. Hi, Cass. So what are the Mavs planning to celebrate Dirk tonight? Well, actually, if you could probably hear, I'm in the concourse right now. They're practicing um, right out on the court. So if you hear that sound, that's them practicing for the ceremony. I'm also, like I said, in the concourse where they'll have a setup of a memorabilia museum dedicated to Dirk. There are eight different sections, including game balls, jerseys, trophies. I'm in front of the game-worn shoes here, which also include uh, game six of the 2011 finals. So that's going to be really cool for fans uh, who will be in attendance. They're actually opening the doors up early so they can take a walk around the concourse and check out the memorabilia, which I'm, I'm told they had to go to Dirk's house this morning to get some key items. Wow. So it's going to be really, really cool exclusive stuff. Also, fans are getting one of ten bobbleheads. This is um, Dirk from his rookie year. He's missing that, you know, uh, famous uh, earring he had uh, during, the, <laughs> during the draft. Um, they're also giving away these towels uh, for, for Dirk. That's pretty cool. It's like his jersey. And, and one other cool thing, of course, uh, Mark Cuban's bringing out all the stops. All fans attending tonight's game will receive one of four exclusive 41 Forever Dirk Nowitzki NFT jerseys when they scan in their ticket. Uh, no, the Mavs have been giving away NFTs at home games, but these are only exclusive to tonight and to his Jersey retirement. So that's that's pretty cool there. Um, a lot of people close to Dirk will be in attendance, including eight members of the 2011 championship team, like Peja Stojakovic, uh, Sean Marion, JJ Barea. His parents flew in from Germany, as well as his sister and some of his former coaches and trainers. Dirk will be making a speech during the ceremony post game. He spoke yesterday um, about trying to hold in his emotions, but look, this city loves Dirk. And, you know, given that he's eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2023, this is just the beginning of the celebration of Dirk. Well, I hope it is as special for the fans as it was for us to watch you do that little Matrix move. But we can't talk to Hey, there it is. We can't talk to a reporter covering the Warriors game, a Warriors game, and not ask about Clay Thompson, right? So you talk to Clay. What's the latest on his return for Golden State? Well, I think, I think all the Warriors, including Clay, are done talking about his return because I tried to talk to him and he's like, oh, I don't want to talk. And then I said, well, you want to talk about Dirk? And he about jumped, you know, five <laughs> feet high. Like, I'll talk about Dirk. I, he said he was so excited to be able to see Dirk tonight. He called his one-legged uh, fadeaway iconic. Um, but I was able to slip in a couple questions about how he's feeling. And he's just, he's just so excited to play again. He said it like that. I'm just so excited to get back to playing basketball. And he said, I'm just so excited to play with this team because we're good. And I asked him, do you think you guys are going to be this good? And he goes, nah, not best team in the league good. So that just makes my return that much easier. And look, the team is saying they're hopeful he plays at home on Sunday, but they're not committing to that. I was told definitely he will not play on the road despite being with the team. Steve Kerr said that when he does come back, they'll probably start off playing him about 15 to 20 minutes a game, possibly rest him on back to back, but they're going to base it on how he looks out there. And so far, what I'm being told is that he looks great in practice. Steve says his conditioning is great, but there's nothing like game speed. But this team is excited. Clay's excited. And it's going to be a celebration in its own right when he takes the court. And you have to imagine those Chase Center fans, when they get to see Clay, they are going to be excited. And you can see Cassidy on the call tonight with Dave Pash and Jeff Van Gundy at 7.30 <laughs> Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. Thank you so much, Matrix Cassidy, coming back. <laughs> Here with the one and only Dirk Nowitzki as he gets ready for a very special night as the Mavericks are going to be retiring his number 41 jersey following tonight's game. And, and Dirk, a record 21 years with the same franchise during which you won a league MVP, a title, a finals MVP, recently named to the 75th anniversary team and a virtual lock for the Hall of Fame. But when you think about tonight where does it fall in your list of highlights in your career Why is that? that we're going to see a lot of memorable moments a lot of highlights but when you think back at the performance your favorite performance what sticks out in your mind 
Well, you know, I, I've... in those battles, we saw that one-legged fadeaway a whole bunch. If I, if I said the most unstoppable move in NBA history, of course, Kareem Skyhook, uh, Jordan's fadeaway would, would would be listed. But I don't think either of those guys have a silhouette on a current NBA court. Can you just talk to me about, you know, how that shot evolved? And you know, are you still hitting them in your current driveway at home right now? I'm not. And with, with Luca when he was a rookie, what were your impressions of him during that season, and how have they evolved as you as you've watched his NBA career progress? I mean, I'm another special player in Steph Curry, being in this league for over two decades, you saw a lot, including the rise of Steph Curry. Having played against him, how would you describe his talent and his impact on this league? Yeah. Kobe experience cloud here with Steve Kerr and coach you didn't hit from three majority of your points came in the paint what do you think of your execution on offense in that first well once we welcome back to NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm here with Jason Kidd and, and coach that was a quarter of runs what was the difference between the way you started that quarter and how you guys finished well we talked about it at halftime Golden State's one of the best third, third quarter teams in the league so uh, we knew they were going to come out Go. Luca, first and foremost, I have to ask about your ankle. I know you've been dealing with left ankle issues, but you turned your right. How are you feeling? No, no, it's good. I just turned a little bit by myself. I think it's quick, a little bit of pain, but I'll be, I'll be fine. I think a win also probably helps. Uh, Jason Kidd talked about how you guys responded after taking a big hit by the Warriors in the third quarter. What did you like most about this win against the top team in the NBA? Our defense. Uh, I think the last couple of games, our defense has been phenomenal. We held, we held the Golden State to 82. You know that's that's unbelievable. They they are number one or two team in the uh, in the NBA. So I think that's unbelievable for us. And Dorian Finney-Smith was big on both ends of the floor. How do you sum up his impact tonight? Well, I know you guys uh, don't believe me this, but this is every night for him. Even if he don't get shots, you know he stays on defense. I think he's one of the best defensive guys in the NBA, and I think uh, he's a very underrated player, and he deserves his respect. Well, speaking of a player who deserves respect, you guys get a win leading into Dirk's ceremony. You have 41 forever on your shoes. How do you sum up what Dirk means to you and from your perspective, this franchise? I mean, he means everything to me, to this franchise. They did it like he did everything to Dallas. Dallas gave it back. Uh, it's going to be a very emotional uh, night. He deserves this and everything that happens to him. Uh, but like I said, you know, he's a hell of a player. He was one of the best. But uh, one thing that stands out for him is the great person he is, uh, one of the most humble superstars ever, and he deserves everything that happens to him. Congrats on the win and go enjoy this night. Dave? And there ain't nobody leaving this arena. Everybody's staying for the Jersey retirement ceremony here. If you can